Austin here is gonna tell us about his prom date. Guys, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for hanging out with us. Guys, it is a weird day here in Utah. We woke up this morning, it was cloudy. I just went through a rainstorm. Now we're back to sun and it's drying things out and absolutely gorgeous out there right now. But the weather has been weird. But you guys, yesterday was prom. It was a crazy busy day for us, but also went to prom last night. He did not share with us the details of where he was gonna be. We were hoping to go up and take pictures, but he likes to do that to us and sure enough, he did it to us again. Some of the moms did send Terry some photos. We will show you guys that here in just a little bit. But we are making some dinner tonight. We decided we're gonna make some Dutch oven chicken Potatoes. We have not made those for a very long time and Terry thought it might be good to have those tonight So I got Claire right here in the kitchen. She's gonna help me make some of those We got to cut up some potatoes and mom here is getting it's like she's getting dessert going first, which you know <laughs> Start first always. whatever <laughs> We got a bowl right here. She's gonna make some like breading or something for the chicken and then I'm gonna go outside What are you gonna do? Just some breadcrumbs? We're just gonna yeah dip the chicken in like egg and then dip it in the breadcrumbs And then we'll stick it in the Dutch oven. So if we had like Dixie fry or something like that We would use that but this is just like just kind of like Dixie fry. Same sort of. thing. Yeah, just gives it kind of a crusted outside chicken so, okay. Same thing. I am by no means an expert with the Dutch oven. We only do it every now and again My dad and Terry's stepdad cooks a lot of chicken and potatoes in the Dutch oven. They're experts and so they're probably Gonna watch this video and be like, you don't know what you're doing. So uh, we're just hoping that we don't get sick. That is the main goal when I cook chicken. As Clay mentioned, yesterday was a busy day for us. We spent the entire day outside cleaning up the garage here. This garage is where we store all of our extra stuff. You've seen us pull Christmas stuff down and all that kind of stuff. But this is where we store the kids' bikes, scooters, the lawnmower, all that kind of stuff. And it was so bad in here, we couldn't even walk around. So we had a lot of leftover toast from Christmas that were kind of sitting around, lights, that kind of thing. So I mean, we kind of like stacked this thing from like different holidays, Easter, fall, and then I would say like Easter falls like the first row and then the rest of it is Christmas. It's basically <laughs> just a Christmas shelf. But we got it cleaned up, got everything up there and at least we can kind of move around a little bit more in here because it was just like a, a path like out of the door right here past the ice maker and, and outside. Just crazy. So it felt a lot better. We do need to like pressure wash this floor. We had a little mishap here with the old Traeger and a little spillage on the concrete there. So uh, All right. another day we will pressure wash this thing out. I'd like to like coat it with the epoxy, the one of those epoxy floors. Yeah. I think we're nice, but very nice. we'll wait on that. We have not used our cash cooker in a very long time. A lot of people like to cook with briquettes, which is a great way to do it because, you know, you've got them underneath, but you can also set them on top, so it kind of cooks from the top down as well. Uh, they're kind of a mess. I mean, if you're out camping, briquettes, great way to go. But right here in our driveway, I really don't want the mess. So we're going to just go with the cash cooker. A few spiders have made their home on there, I can see. It's very true. Over the years. <laughs> no, I don't know how long it's been since we've used this. I think I'll use it like at a church function maybe like four or five years ago. It's been a long time, but this is definitely something we did a ton growing up. We used to go camping a lot and we would always have Dutch oven food. It's one of my favorites. We don't do this very often because it makes a huge mess, honestly. A ton of cleanup, so. Yeah, it is a lot of cleanup. You know, cleaning the Dutch ovens takes quite a while. Yes. First. All right, we got this cash cooker all lit up and I actually forgot that I bought these little foil liners a few years ago when Clay went on a scouting camp out. These are gonna save us a ton of time with cleanup. So we found those. We actually are gonna cook some bacon in here first. This is where we're gonna cook the potatoes. We're gonna cook that bacon first, get it all nice and crispy, and then we'll add the potatoes. All right, the bacon's done. Got the potatoes. Set that aside for just a second. Ooh. Cut up an onion, we'll throw an onion on top real quick, and then we'll put the lid on and let that cook for about 50 minutes or an hour right there. Let me check it. I'm excited, it already smells delicious. We have given the potatoes a 20 minute head start. We're gonna try and time this thing just perfect. We are getting the chicken right here, and this one will be here. Those are some big chicken breasts. I know, they're gonna take a while to cook through. <laughs> So maybe the uh, the head start was not a good idea. Maybe we should have started at the same time, but who knows? We'll see how it plays out. But they look really good. I should have cut them in small chunks, but oh well. We're not professionals. The potatoes are almost done. All we gotta do is throw the bacon back on, let it warm back up. We're gonna throw the cheese on there as well. Let that melt, and uh, those potatoes should be ready to go in just a few minutes. We're gonna take the lid right here, put it back on there for a second to melt that cheese. And then we're gonna check that chicken. It should be getting close. Oh, steamy in here. What do you think, Carl? Is it good? Does it, does it feel like we're camping? <laughs> Been a while since we've got a Dutch oven on our counter. We got a what on our counter? 
A Dutch oven. That's what this thing's called. Yummy. Cheesy bacon potatoes. Who doesn't love that? I don't love it. You don't? It's a joke. Is it too much? No. Okay. okay. Chicken. I just want more. Yeah. Dinner was delicious. I got the Dutch ovens cleaned up and put away. Austin here is gonna tell us about his prom date. Well, except we do not have any video, but we'll be showing all the pictures that were taken by other moms, because this mom here was not informed of the picture location. Austin, why is that? Oh, come on, don't give me one of these, you know. I had no idea. <laughs> he knows, right. he just didn't want me to be there. And then when they stopped by last night to tell me that all the other moms were there, except for me. Are you serious? Oh, that God. hurts. I wasn't very, everyone's mom. I wasn't that very hurts. happy. That hurts. Still not very happy about it. Oh, Steve. Josh's mom wasn't there, neither was Tanner's. So, I could have been there, but you chose not to tell me. All right, all right, so. They forced him to get pictures when they came here. Terrible, terrible, Austin. All right, so because of that, you're gonna have to explain to us what you guys did on the date, give us the details, not one word answers. We want you to be so detailed, it will be as if we were there experiencing the date with you, okay? <laughs> All right, Austin, tell us about your date. The date was over two days, correct? Yes, Friday, we went on our day date, even though it was at the night time. After school, we went up to my friend Colin's house, cabin actually, and we rode four wheelers. We grilled hamburgers and chicken and hot dogs. Really? It was pretty good. Then I rode dirt bikes and four wheelers. We lead some, jumped what, some. What kind of dirt bike? It was a 125 Honda. Oh, really? Four stroke. But yeah, other than that, we just hung out, watched a couple movies, and it was fun. It was cool. And then our like, dinner day was on Saturday, the same day as the prom. So we went to this place called Tuscany. It's like a fancy Italian restaurant. Yeah, it was way fancier than I've really? ever been to. How much restaurant. were the plates? Their steak was $80. $80 per plate? Yeah, per steak. <laughs> Good yeah. night. Did Ain't no beef worth that much Did money. we pay for that? No, we didn't get the steak, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Got the same instead. All right. But yeah, other than that, and then we went to the dance and hot tub after at my buddy's house after. Really? Yeah, it was pretty chill. That's pretty cool. How was the dance? Was it lame? Or was it cool this year? It was okay. Mediocre. Was it at the high school or did they hold it somewhere else? It was at some pavilion in Lehigh. At a pavilion like outside? Mm-hmm. Really? It was weird. It was giant though. Was it cold? Yeah, not. They should have done it at the high school and the gym. I don't know why they don't do it like at the high school. Do you know? I don't. I don't think it's big enough to hold everybody. That's what I've heard, but I don't know. Our high school is definitely big enough. Yeah, <laughs> we only have like twenty <laughs> students, so we're good. But yeah, I don't think the high school's big enough to have everybody there. Huh? I don't know. Well, that's cool. All right, we've got some pictures. We're gonna roll right now. Hope you guys enjoyed those photos of Austin, his date, and their friends. They, they had a great time. We we're just grateful that there was no accidents and everything went smooth. Recently, there was a girl, I believe it was last weekend, she goes to a different school that's close by, but she was in a razor with a bunch of people and it rolled and pinned her down and she's paralyzed right now from the neck down. Super sad and so, you know, teenagers don't always make the best decisions when they get together and so we're just, we're always grateful when they're able to go out and have a good time and we're, be smart. Austin took his helmet, whereas uh, C felt on the race that he said he was riding in so we're just grateful that you know it was a good weekend yes and we hope that everything goes okay for this girl she's going out for some treatment out in colorado and hopefully she can start getting some feeling back you know she said that she can feel like she says she's paralyzed but they can feel her toes or what terry knows more than i do <laughs> she has a little bit of I think, like pain in her back and then i think she can feel her toes being pinched a little bit but just a super sad situation you never i mean it literally her life changed in a split second and so i get told a lot by our boys that i am too protective helicopter mom all the things but I just tell them you know what that's a compliment I'm doing my job and I'm here to keep you safe and if that means telling you know that you can't go ride four wheelers and dirt bikes with your friends and that's what that means and but I'm trying to be a little more yeah <laughs> we want them to be able to go out and do those I guess that's why I'm going there is like you know we want to be able to go out and do these things and that's what I think about and that's you know as a parent right you're always worried about things happening when they go out on these dates where in their minds it's just fun and we probably should just be talking about fun how great it was I just in my mind it's just relief that you know when all these teenagers get together that nothing has happened yes. and that everything was good and so it'll be a positive memory for him and the rest of us so for sure guys we appreciate you watching thanks for hanging out with us we love you and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow